Hey there guys, my name is Marcus and in this video I'm going to show you five alternatives that you can use if you're using Wix website. Now the huge advantage but it's also a disadvantage about Wix is that you can literally edit it as much as you want. What do I mean? Like if you're using already Wix you know that you can move text where you want it's going to always adapt right so in that way Wix is amazing but there is also disadvantage with it uh, about responsibility so let's say that you need to always edit it for mobile and also for the desktop that's a huge disadvantage because you need to do double edits first thing second thing also Google don't like when things are not in order when they are randomly put it they just Google don't like it so Google doesn't like it sorry so this is something uh, that bothers me with the Wix, but also it gives opportunity for people who wants to really play around with their website. Um, Wix is a good choice, but let's go to the like the alternatives that I'm going to show you. Now, I'm not paid by any of these website builders that I'm going to show you right now. The first one is a site one to three, which is like pretty used um, heavily and he's been here for a really long time. What you can actually do is to create a really good website. But how it works, it's based on sections. So we don't have it as in Wix that you're going to have like, I don't know that I can really move it as much as I want. I'm going to have plenty of apps that I can add and plenty of things. With site one to three, it's really how we can create simple but good website with plenty of sections here testimonials, restaurants. So if you really look for simplicity, site one to three is a good choice. So this was site one to three. The second one that I prepared for you is a Squarespace. I think you heard about Squarespace. Squarespace uh, is like, I I would even call it upgraded version of site one to three. So I can simply click here, add a section, and I get to see plenty of sections here that I can add. And you can build a beautiful website. But again, you got limitation uh, again comparing to the Wix because it works based on sections, right? So let's say I'm going to add a form here and I have a form and as you can see, I got the spaces and everything. And what I can do is to simply click plus here and add a text, image, video, spacer, form, audio, plenty of things, business, member sign up, integrations you see here, premium, like menu, donation, so you see plenty of things here that you can actually add like video and I can add a video here, right? So that's something you can definitely do and you can like simply move it. But again, look at this. The difference between Squarespace and Wix is that with Squarespace, you can make it like this and just this and this. It really depends like what do you actually need? Let me down below in the comments like what do you want to actually build and I will reply to you like if you want to build a website for I don't know for blogging I wouldn't go with the Squarespace or Wix I would go with the WordPress. If you want to create a one product store Squarespace is amazing in that regard. If you want to create a store with a lot of products I would go with the Shopify or Big Commerce. So this is something you should definitely definitely focus on. Like what are your goals? Let me down below in the comments and I will try to help you with that like which one you should definitely choose. Now as you can see as I mentioned Squarespace really great for landing pages one product store in that regard I would definitely use it uh, the way how we can edit it is really great Google likes it too only because you make it effective the next one is a Weebly Weebly was bought by Square I don't know how long ago and you can create your own online store or simple website but when you look on the popularity of Weebly this is something that I have to share with you is a look on the popularity of Weebly it's dropping down I just implement it because, okay, it's like alternative. But personally, I, if I should choose between Weebly and Squarespace, I would go personally with the Squarespace. But because like Weebly seems outdated and their editor seems outdated. So that's something that I don't really recommend to use. Now, let's go further to the next one. The next one is a GoDaddy. GoDaddy uh, is a domain web hosting platform, but they created a tool based on which you can create your own website. And if you come here, you can simply click add a section and you can again, similar to site one to three or Squarespace, you can add plenty of sections. Now, here is the thing is that uh, some people had said they have problems. So I wouldn't personally build a store with GoDaddy. I would definitely build a website, uh, which is 
about let's say landing page or let's say i'm a yoga teacher and i'm presenting something in that way i would definitely i could go with the godaddy but i would rather use squarespace so that's what i would do i have like live stream here audio so what i could do is to easily add content like this thing here see and i can move it and I can add a section, I can move things. So in Squarespace, you got more options what you can build and how you can build your own website. So I can click plus here and just add audio newsletter quote, etc. In GoDaddy, as you can see, you are really limited what you can do, right? So, but it's still alternative that you can use if you want to, you can test it out. Many people said that they had problems also with uh, how the URL looks like in GoDaddy. So keep in mind that. And the last one that I'm going to present you is Elementor. I used Elementor a lot on my own website. Elementor was a great uh, thing, great way how I build websites uh, in the past. Right now I don't use it because I just like Shopify more and Squarespace personally. I would definitely use Elementor. It's As you can see, it works on a sections mode. If you want to use... Uh, if you want to write articles, if you want to really create a long, a lot of content, a lot of blogs, a lot of everything, then go with the Elementor. Definitely. I don't know any other, maybe even Shopify is in that regard, but Shopify is more expensive comparing to Elementor. Um, because like with the Elementor and WordPress, what you could do is to actually write a lot of articles, like thousands. And I would like to have them on uh, WordPress rather than Wix or Squarespace. And Google likes it much more, and there are plenty of there are more plugins, etc., for WordPress and Elementor comparing to having it on Wix or Squarespace. Now, if you want to build a store, go with the Shopify. I created many many tutorials on Shopify, how we can use it, Shopify apps, etc., and it's a beast. Like like Shopify with their apps, it's another dimension. Trust me in that. So. I would definitely go that way if you want to build your own store. But again, it really depends. What do you want to guys actually use? So to summarize this, oh, site one to three, really good for the beginners. If you want to build a simple website, Squarespace more advanced, but even better than site one to three. Weebly is Mech. I don't know if I would use it. Uh, GoDaddy is Mech, but still usable if you want to create like landing page, etc. Elementor is fine and I would use definitely Elementor if I want to well, create articles that get like really good support and then use Shopify if you want to build an actual store. So if you want to have a lot of products, if you want to write articles, have really good sales funnels, Shopify is the way. Now, it really depends what you want to build and how you want to build it. But again, if you can have any questions, guys, ask me down in comments, write me questions. Uh, like let's say that you want to build this 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 and if I know the answer I'll be really happy to help you. So thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you are going to have a great day and goodbye. See ya